If you have seen my previous video on Wobble Alpha. Ah. Alright, today we're gonna make Wobble FM in Serum 2. I'm trying to make this tutorial as simple as possible so you guys can catch up, alright? I will leave these three Wobble FM presets in the description box. Choose oscillator A, set it to sine wave. Oscillator B, set it to sine wave. Have this random knob goes to zero. Or there's another way. Click this arrow button, select for voice, and you can choose where you want this sine wave to start. I want it to start from the from the far left here for now. And you want to set the oscillator A's warp mode to Fn B. And you turn this volume knob of oscillator B down. And now turn this warp mode around 40, 45 ish. Oscillator A is being modulated by the frequency of oscillator B. Oh, can you see? Every time I click here, it sounds a little bit different. That's because this random knob is not being set to zero. So make sure, set it to zero. So the bass all stays consistent. Every time it hits the note, it sounds consistent. Alright, now I want you to turn filter 1 on and make sure it's only oscillator A being sent to filter 1. Next, you want to make sure this envelope 1 is set to attack set to 0 milliseconds. Okay, so now think of wobble bass. Sounds like whoa, 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 right? So it goes from a higher pitch to a lower pitch. So it pitched down, whoa, 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 wobble bass, wobble down. So you want to set this LF01, make a shape something like this. Set it to envelope, set this rate to one bar. It depends on the context, but for this sake of this tutorial, I'll just make this one bar, okay? Make sure it's envelope, and you assign a level one to the chorus pitch of oscillator A. And make sure you set this from bipolar to unipolar. Just simply tap option, shift, and this icon here. Or another way, you can set this bipolar to unipolar in the matrix tab here. Just click here. Alright, so I'm gonna make it pitch down two octaves higher. So double click here, set to 18%. That's two octaves. Okay, I turn this filter one off first. this to one octave higher maybe you can play the, with the modes by right clicking this here go to ratio maybe you can play with the ratio here send this to filter one from up to down so you want to assign macronop 1 to LF01's y-axis and drag it again to the end of LF01 y-axis. Go to the matrix tab. Make sure this macronop set this from bipolar to unipolar, bipolar to unipolar. And you want to pull this down and pull this upwards. We'll name this as pitch down slash pitch up. So you can see if I play a note when it's on the left side, it pitch down. And now it pitch up. Right? Okay, so now you have this direction. Now think of a wobble bass, how it sounds like. It sounds like whoa, 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 whoa. Imagine how the filter looks like. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it has a vibration back and forth, right? So go to filter one, uh, go to this normal, my go-to band filter, band 24. Drive, drive this up, pull up the resonance around 30, 40%. You can go 50, sometimes I like it to be 50. Let's see. Okay, now we want to assign an LFO 
to this filter cutoff. So it wobbles back and forth. So LFO2, go to retrieval mode. I'll assign LFO2 to this cutoff filter. Set it to bipolar. It's wobbling between 590 hertz to 6600 hertz. Okay, so it's quite a wide range. Maybe I might want to pull this resonance down 25%. We'll name this as the wobble rate. Well, well, well. If you want this to sync up to your tracks BPM, you just click this BPM. If not, you want to have more flexibility on the wobble rate, you set this to Hertz. Now it's set to 6.2 Hertz. Okay, guess what? I'm gonna make a range for you guys to work on this vibrato rate. I'll assign this macronop number 5 to the rate. A good range is from 0 0.5 to 20 hertz. Alright. So when I crank this macronop 5 up, it speeds up. If I crank this macronop down, it slows down. So that's going to be the wobble rate or the vibrato rate. I'm just gonna call this wobble rate. That's the rate. How quick it wobbles between frequencies. There's one more thing I'm missing out right now. Is the filter, when it wobbles, it also needs to have a direction. Usually it follows the pitch. Since we have the pitch from up to down, which is assigned by, which is controlled by LFO1. You want to also have this LFO1 drop down to this, filter once, cut off. So it syncs up with the pitch. The wall syncs up with the pitch. The filter follows the pitch as it goes down. So maybe I'll just set it to in the middle here. Wall will break turn off. Maybe you want to set this range, widen up from 400 hertz. Okay, guess what? Maybe uh, 100 hertz, 150 hertz to 6000 hertz. Alright. So this wobble filter follows the pitch. So when I crank this pitch up now, upwards to the far right, it pitch up. And pitch down. Alright, maybe there's something I have to tweak around to ratio to. Three. Maybe you can play with the unison here. Set it to unison, f eight unisons. Go to per voice. Control each voice phase. Okay, maybe something like this. The wobble rate and how much it wobbles should be controlled by LFO2's this peak over here, right? So you want to assign a macro knob that controls the, the y-axis, the y-axis of this. Now we are on LFO2. If you're designing a wobble and you want to give your customer more flexibility, or you want more flexibility, you might want to consider assigning a macro knob to LFOs to y-axis here. So you can also play with the amount of wall. So go to the matrix, make sure it's set to unipolar. Drag this down, that center, hold this up, 
we are going to name this as wobble amount. I'm, I've been spelling wobble wrong the whole time. Double B, wobble. My bad, my bad. See, this wobble amount goes up as a crank fob. Customization for micro knobs, right? How much you want? You control over here, this wobble amount. The pitch length should be controlled by LFO6 here. So I want to make it a minimum of one bar to four bars that goes the opposite direction. So I'll just name this macro now pitch length. So this is one bar, four bars. Maybe I need to add in the sub oscillator. And make sure sub oscillator is set to direct, so it's direct out. You can turn up a EQ8 here. Since I want this sub bass to follow the pitch of oscillator A, I'll have to make some adjustment here. Um, instead of LFO1 assigned to the core speed of oscillator A, set this to global main tuning. That's it. And you can look at this EQ. Now it follows the entire thing. Now all the oscillator follows the main global tuning. Global main tuning. Yeah, it sounds more like wobble bass now. Okay, maybe you can play with another oscillator C. Um, go to per voice, set this to another sine wave. Maybe we can play with two, two voices, something like this, and you want to set this warp to FMC. And you want to play with the sweet spot here. Maybe you can play with the modes of oscillator C, change this to a ratio mode, play with the ratio here. Metallic. Sometimes I do feel sending sub oscillator to the filter sounds good also. Alright, wobble bass, YouTube tutorial. There's also one more thing. If you're playing with a ratio mode here, you want this to set it to oscillator A here, this sets to oscillator B. If not, it's going to sound different. I mean, like, depends on your taste. This sounds way much metallic. I'm going to leave this wall base in my YouTube description box. Get it, alright? I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace out.